my channel today I'm going to review one of the pieces that I got from Monster Pools uh, this past weekend. We actually did a full haul a few days ago and I mentioned that I'm going to review some of the pieces uh, just so I'm going to make a separate video for them so I can go over them show you all, all the details and everything. So today I decided to do uh, the Victor Cropsey from the movie The Burning which I can't wait to show you all. I already displayed it and stuff you guys can see in the screen. This is when I first saw it at Monster Pools. I was totally surprised it was on day two or day three I kind of forgot uh, I think it was day two which I saw it or day three I'm not fully sure but I got very excited so uh, decided to get it the price was awesome too and it looks very very accurate so I already displayed it so that's why it's not here so I can bring it closer uh, I, I showed it how it looked first in my uh, haul video so now I added a code and stuff so I just wanted to make it more movie accurate so I displayed it where it is uh, so I decided just gonna grab my camera and go over and show you all, all the details and this actually I got it from the George Ludman's uh, thing the boot it, he had it there it, it wasn't his sculpt or paint but he was just uh, having it there he was selling it and it was actually sculpted and painted by John Fuller which uh, he did a great job I know his work I've seen some of his works and stuff and I really like it uh, but I got another awesome piece from Josh uh, which you guys can see this is his Instagram uh, beyond disgusting studios that's his website so he did something I got I got a piece from them it's uh, dummies uh, it's a slappy dog which I can't wait to uh, review that one these next few days uh, but today I'm just going to show you all the burning one which I displayed I'm just gonna grab my camera right now and go closer and just show you all, all the details and the code that I added to it just looks really nice so let's check him out all right so I just grabbed my camera and let's go closer and check this bust out and look how accurate this one looks i'm really glad that i got this for the collection the price was awesome and just look how accurate it looks uh just the entire face and the moment i saw this i was like wow this looks accurate and awesome the only thing is like oh i wish you had a coat but that's just a net peak it's just not that it needs it it's just in the movie i remember he was wearing a coat uh, but the shirt that it comes with, it's awesome and very accurate and old looking. So the bo the boss came uh, all the way like until there. So this was it. It was an awesome shirt. So I just decided when I got home the next day, I was like, what if I just get a coat? And uh, so I got this coat for him, just a black coat. And I remember in the movie, it wasn't so clear because it was mostly dark. So I was taking some pictures as well. So I couldn't see how accurate the code it should be. I mean, how the movie accurate the code is, but I feel like he was wearing something like this in the movie, which I'm very happy with how it came out. And I display it uh, right behind my um, Madhouse uh, Vincent Price uh, boss, which I have it over here. And I decided to put him there and thankfully it worked. The base that it comes with, it's very like tall. Uh, the one that Josh gave me so I and I really like that base actually and so I got a just uh, another desk so that was pretty tall too so I put this there so actually now he has a great height and it worked out and I'm very very happy it's just there's a poster of the dolls moving back there so I just have to um, just remove that and put it somewhere else so it doesn't bother so i was actually worried when i'm going to display this but now i'm very happy with the way how it came out so let me know what you guys think about the display uh so let me go closer and show you all the eyes are from Ford Seal studios so i actually didn't know and then later i found out and look at that burning skin the skin looks very wet and well done actually it looks very in the moment when i saw it i thought it's like a silicone but no it's actually a resin but just the burn face came out really nice and i feel like it's uh, very accurate to the film. It looked very creepy and stuff. It's actually one of my favorite like horror camp movies. Uh, obviously, I like Friday the 13th movies, but this is honestly the same level. I really like this, and I'm glad they did a 4K of this uh, movie. And it's I would say it's very underrated. And then we don't really get like uh, collectibles or anything from this film, so this piece is very unique for me. Um, but yeah, I feel like it came out really good, this coat and everything. I'm very happy with it. Um, really glad that I added to the collection. Just look at the, the teeth real quick. How nasty they look. This time I'm not using my backdrop, so I just, I couldn't move it because I didn't attach completely the, the coat to the 
to the body so i just like how it looks i was gonna do it like the other way just like cut it and stop and fix it and i just feel like like this it looks uh really nice it looks like he has a like a bigger longer torso and all of that so i'm big fan of that um so i just feel like it just came out really good and i'm happy with it so i'm just going to keep it this way um so it looks good the moment i got it i just realized you know, if it fits right there next to my uh, tv it's just going to look really nice and thankfully it worked out and i'm just happy with this display and i'm actually curious what you guys think uh i can't wait to show you all my other piece that i got from um monster palooza uh very soon so let me show you all the top of the his head very accurate actually my favorite angle obviously is like this and also i just like so yeah let me know your thoughts what do you guys think about this piece uh do you guys like the burning movie and what's your favorite like slasher film uh definitely this character is my i would say top 10 list uh of the slashers uh it's an awesome piece very happy that i got this one for the collection uh it really surprised me. I didn't know that this piece was there. So that was a part of it that I got very excited. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts of these. And also feel free to like and subscribe for more unboxing and review videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.